white pigments now what are these white pigments white pigments if i try to give you a list of white pigments they are uh, compounds of lead compounds of lead zinc and titanium white pigments are compounds of lead zinc and titanium if we try to trace back the history of white pigments the earliest reference goes to a bill created in 1274 and it was a bill given to king of england for painting in that there is reference of purchase of lb plumby white lead earlier white lead was used only as a medicine but slowly and steadily it was used in paints in 19 sir your voice is cracking later on in 1947 if if we talk about zinc oxide it was invented in 1740 but it took a long time to come it on the commercial level just try to understand that the things are invented in a test tube or are in laboratory and sometimes they take Hundred years to come on the floor of manufacturing. Many experiments have materialized after fifty to hundred years, but initial experiments are equally important. In case of zinc oxide, zinc was burnt in air, burnt in air, and then the vapors were condensed. In 1835, French people started manufacturing zinc oxide. Later, with a modified direct process, America entered into the business of zinc oxide in the meantime zinc oxide zinc sir to power that ha bola sir tumcha awaz adakto ata yeto ka barobar ho sir ata yeto ata yeto ka yes sir नहीं बगतो फायदा हो तो one that is related to me i think network issue hai sir ek minute me mic laun bagto tumhala upyog hoto network cha issue hai ka okay ma network cha issue ase tar ma amala bahar basava lagel then we need to move the laptop network cha issue नेटवर्क 
titanium dioxide in around 1914 to 1918 made a breakthrough in paint technology. Titanium dioxide has a very high hiding power. High hiding power. It soon created a large number of paints based on titanium dioxide. But before going into each individual pigment, I would like to give you some idea about the physical properties of pigments. The first property is weight per weight per gallon. As density of water is one, when at 14.5 degrees, one gram occupies one ml, then it is density is one. Similarly, in paints, the density of pigment is very important. The difficulty with paint industry is we buy raw materials in kg and sell them in liters. Just imagine that we are buying one liter of paint but the weight may be Sir, voice is cracking. Per gallon cup. Sir, I couldn't hear you, sir. Hatha kaya sangir. Ek minute. आता है तो एक आसाना सर नेटवर्क इशू असली में होता है दे नेटवर्क से प्रॉब्लम हो सकती है आवाज नहीं है बरोबर सर मधुन मधुन आवाज थोड़ा क्रैक होता है जो आईक्यू इतने हैं मधुन मधुन बरोबर बरा आमी मां सब पांच मिनट थाम्बा में जागा बदलूं पातू हम्म यस सर वी चेंज द प्लेस थोड़ा नेटवर्क चल दवा दाउन वक्त तो वेट फॉर फाइव मिनट्स हाँ यस सर यस सर नाउ यू आर ऑडिबल थोड़ा आवाज व्यवस्थित ही है तो है का ओ सर यार व्यवस्थित ही थे नशे ने तो माला सांगा मंजे मम्मी तो तो सेटअप चेंज करेंगे कहीं ना कहीं ये तो सर आवाज ये तो है ना यस सर तो आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट दी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ पिगमेंट्स ओके प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द पिगमेंट्स वन इज वेट वेट पर लीटर और पाउंड्स पर गैलन दिस इज फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी why it is important? Because paint is sold in liters, but raw material you buy in kg. Is it not? Therefore, what much weight per liter or what much volume is occupied by one kg, that is very important in case of all the pigments. Okay. The second important property which we are going to talk about is oil absorption property. 
ऑयल आर वाइंडर एब्जॉर्शन प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज ग्राम्स ऑफ ऑयल एब्जॉर्ड फॉर हंड्रेड ग्राम्स ऑफ द वेट ऑफ द पिगमेंट This is a very very simple experiment. What you have to do, you have to take hundred grams of the pigment, go on adding oil, weighed oil, use a spatula, and till you get a material which is which appears to be lumpy or which is full of oil. ऐसा तो गोला तैयार होता है ऐसा plain. that you can feel that it is saturated with the oil that is known as oil absorption and in case of every pigment this oil absorption is very important because some pigments take more oil some pigments take less oil means saturation level with resin or oil different pigments is different do you understand my point already what we are going to do we are mixing pigment with the vehicle or oil okay now what much oil is absorbed by the pigment that is a very important issue is it not so that oil absorption characteristic is also equally important and the third important property is refractive index the fourth important property the higher the refractive index the better the hiding write down please higher the refractive index better the hiding power and hiding power mainly depends on what is the difference in refractive index difference in the refractive index of the pigment and vehicle to explain it the refractive index of alkyd resin or any other thing is around 1.3 to 1.5 okay titanium has a refractive index of 2.76 so if that difference is there it will hide better basic carbonate has a refractive index lower so naturally its refractive index is 1.94 so the hiding will be poor is it not that is how it works higher the refractive index uh one thing you can write down as a guideline that refractive index 1.7 or more it is termed as pigment refractive index more than 1.7 is a pigment and refractive index less than 1.7 is an extender just imagine that today i was going through the prices of titanium dioxide titanium dioxide is worth 215 to 250 rupees per kg that is pigment extender is whiting or calcium carbonate so that whiting or calcium carbonate is just available at 5 to 10 rupees per kg you understand this point the higher the refractive index more the value why because it can hide a greater surface is it not the next important property is hiding power of the paint next important property is hiding power of the paint and it is given by square feet per pound 
square feet per pound. A very simple experiment you can perform in your laboratory for measuring the hiding power. How? Take a chessboard with black and white squares on it and say take four square inch area in a small beaker keep brush and weight and then spread in that area in minimum amount. Initially white and black will remain visible. Is it not? But as you go on coating, a stage will come when white and black squares, they will be obliterated completely. You weigh again the paint. So that weight is sufficient to cover that much smaller area. That is known as hiding power and it is a very important characteristic. Remember that costly Asian paint has a more, uh, more cost while local paint has a lower cost. Why? Because the hiding power of standard company paint is very high. While small scale industries, they do not use more titanium, so the hiding power is less. So the price of the paint is decided by hiding power. The more the hiding power, the better is the paint because for covering the same area, you will require lesser amount of paint. One more thing is important, which I must tell about the pigmentary property that is tinting strength. Tinting strength. Now try to understand this point, quite interesting. What is the difference between hiding power and tinting strength? Suppose you go to the gymnasium and measure the strength of the person. How do you measure it? What is his weight? What is his chest? What is all this? that is the individual strength? His weight is say 200 kg. So that individual strength type of thing is given by hiding power. But what is tinting strength? When the two wrestlers fight among themselves, when they fight, then one will survive, other will lose. Is it not? Suppose I have got a plate which is white and I have got a black, black paint. Hmm. And I want to convert that white plate into black paint. So here comes not the hiding power, but the capacity to overpower each other. Is it not? That overpowering ability is important because you always tint the paint. Suppose you are getting, you want suppose green color. Okay. Green color can be given by thalocyanin green, organic pigment and zinc chrome or chrome green pigment. Chrome green is an inorganic pigment. Thalocyanin green is an organic pigment. Now, thalocyanin green is sufficient if you add 10 grams of it, it will give a very good shade. But for getting the same shade, you will have to use greater amount of chrome green. What does it mean? Tinting strength of Thalocyanin green is better than chrome green, inorganic chrome. That is, I think you understand, tinting strength means two, three pigments are there. They are trying to overpower each other. And when you measure the relative strength, it is nothing but measurement of the relative strength. How it is measured? Suppose I want to know the tinting strength of a blue pigment. What I will do? I will take a white panel, go on applying my coat of green. Some amount will be required to get a particular shade. For getting the same shade, I will use another pigment. If I get the same shade with smaller quantity, 
then i call that the pigment has a better tinting strength i think now you are clear about that what is the difference between hiding power and tinting strength hiding power is capacity to hide while tinting strength is capacity to overpower each other the relative strength of the pigment that is also important so now you can uh, open up uh, your whatsapp and refer to table number 1 on whatsapp i have sent you one table you can refer to that table average physical properties of typical white pigments can you read pura bada kar lo yes sir can you read it is your chart visible yes sir ha huh. so first is basic carbonate white lead now try i will give some general information about it lead carbonate lead sulfate these were the basic pigments earlier used in most of the paints but nowadays lead has been found to be toxic therefore in all paint compositions today lead is avoided in fact if you go to the history of paint making the initial paints were made only on lead lead carbonate lead sulfate etc lead silicate was also there but nowadays these pigments have almost not been utilized why because it is proven fact that lead is toxic in nature so instead of that other pigments are used then zinc oxide is a very good pigment because it is basic in nature write down zinc oxide is a pigment which is basic in nature just read the table zinc oxide gallons per pound is 2.14 oil absorption is 12 to 25 refractive index is 2.08 and hiding power is 20 and tinting strength is 210 a reasonably good pigment with some additional properties zinc oxide has also got some anti fouling properties and it cuts also the ultraviolet radiations so some some resistance to microorganisms capacity to cut ultraviolet light these are additional features with zinc oxide particularly in marine paints this property is of greater help then comes zinc sulfide then comes zinc sulfide just see it is its gallons per pound is 3 refractive index is 2.37 and tinting strength is 640 we are improving in strength just see that zinc oxide zinc sulfide is there but lithophon is a composite of zinc sulfide zinc sulfate what is lithophon lithophon is a combination of zinc sulfide plus barium sulfate it has got a hiding power of just 27 square feet per pound then comes the most important out of all of them is titanium grade anatase there are two grades of titanium dioxide 
one is known as an artist grade it is absolutely white in color no gray shade nothing and in many of the excellent white compositions an artist is preferred but its stability is little poorer than rutile grade but yet for hospitals or other places where white color is more important white color is more important there we utilize an artist grade of titanium dioxide now see just that its hiding power is very high 115 square feet per pound while see the table the tinting strength is also very high exceeding all other pigments is it not then tio2 rutile grade this is a grade which is made from natural we will come to it how to manufacture rutile and but rutile grade has a higher hiding power and it is more stable than anatase grade it has got a density of 2.83 gallons per pound 2.83 and refractive index highest 2.76 hiding power is 147 the highest of all of them just go through the table and try to understand the facts and its tinting strength is also very high even better than anatase grade this happens because of the particular crystalline structure which is there there are two different type of crystalline structures in which titanium dioxide can form a crystal we'll come to it later on but at this stage you can consider that titanium dioxide rutile is a better pigment with highest hiding and highest tinting strength then titanium calcium is nothing but a combination of calcium carbonate and titanium so i will not go into more details of it so we have now five what white pigments we on which basic carbonate white lead basic sulfate white lead these we are not giving more importance why because they are toxic even then in some defense preparations and some places still white lead in small quantity is used but not much therefore we are going to ignore this zinc oxide has very special properties some anti fouling properties some anti microbial property then it can cut ultraviolet radiation that is the most important property because light resistance is given by zinc oxide then comes zinc sulfide this is also having some property of cutting the radiations then comes titanium dioxide anatase absolute white grade it is purely white no gray yellow or any tinge is not there that is known as anatase grade and rutile grade is a treated titanium dioxide which is slightly creamy white but slightly creamy that is known as titanium dioxide rutile grade okay now secondly you can refer to now figure number 2 transmission of various pigments open your whatsapp have you opened yes sir huh. in whatsapp on x axis we have wavelength in angstrom unit wavelength in angstrom unit and on y axis we have percent transmission of light that gives a clear picture of the value of various pigments this is 100 means any light passing through the layer which has been tested thickness of pigment layer tested you can write down 0.3092 mm point 3092 mm this is the thickness of the pigment layer 
and what we are doing we are observing transmission of light through this layer so 100% transmission means completely transparent material 0% means highest hiding power okay now just compare see this graph magnesium silicate it is an extender how it is moving from 80 to uh, in all wavelength range, it is almost transparent because 90 to 100 percent it is giving transparency it is not hiding anything is it not the second is barite it is also a useful extender but you can see that percent transmission is 60 percent and above that much percent transmission is not good basic lead carbonate has also the same problem basic lead sulfate although it has good hiding but for toxicity reasons we are not using it then comes zinc sulfide let's see the graph of zinc sulfide this is a uv range 3023233342 so part of the uv range is cut by zinc sulfide means this ultraviolet light cannot pass through zinc sulfide even with titanium that is true but not to that extent the best out of them is zinc oxide the best out of them what is it zinc oxide it is cutting all the radiations in ultraviolet region and therefore when you expose the paint film to the light zinc oxide protects the film to some extent this uh, graph also tells you the value of various pigment titanium dioxide 250 rupees per kg then zinc sulfide say 80 to 100 rupees zinc oxide again 80 to 100 rupees per kg then magnesium silicate magnesium silicate is transparent so very cheap 10 rupees per kg so depending on hiding property depending on hiding property the whole scenario changes more the transmission less the value less the transmission higher the value once again go through this graph try to understand it y axis is transmission x axis is various wavelengths our basic idea is the pigment which cuts ultraviolet radiation is most important and to some extent zinc sulfide and titanium are doing this job but this job is best done by zinc oxide therefore it has got the highest value finally we will try to understand the economics of titanium dioxide economics of titanium dioxide i am particularly wish to train you just not to give the chemical information or commercial information but you must know the commercial value of a material today on global level whatever material i am dealing with you must know that what is its value that is very important is it not so open this table on your whatsapp world production of titanium dioxide world production of titanium dioxide it is uh, 
the figure is little older one 2016 titanium dioxide in metric tons world production is 170000 metric tons just see china is the highest they have 60000 metric tons now the growth and development of a country is only determined by how you utilize your natural resources titanium is one of the best examples of it we have also got enough ores of ilmenite but china has created a manufacturing capacity of 60000 tons then comes japan then comes russia then comes kazakhstan then ukraine and lastly india even we can say that today some development in this decade has taken place and four companies are there which are manufacturing titanium dioxide please write down the names of the companies because from employment point of view you should know that which companies are there and what are they manufacturing is it not so kerala minerals and metals this is one company another is travancore titanium products they are government ventures while private companies have stepped in kilburn chemicals vvti pigments kilburn chemicals and another is coalmarks coalmarks K O L M A R K S. This company is also making titanium dioxide. The retail grades are available at a cost of two fifty to two sixty five rupees, while an attest grade is available at one sixty five to one ninety one ninety rupees per kg. The uh if you go into more details about 15 million tons of ilmenite is processed ilmenite ilmenite is a natural ore i w l il me m e t i n e ilmenite means from the mountain the word is ilmenite from the mountain this mineral is iron titanate basically iron titanate out of it 60% is used in production of pigment 60% of this raw material is used in the production of pigment while about 7% is purified to a very great extent where it is utilized it is utilized in electrical conductors it is used in electrical conductors and also in aviation technology that means aircrafts in aircraft designing pure titanium dioxide is a very important component about 33% pigment about 33% natural product is converted into synthetic rutile type into synthetic rutile type now here i would like to make a comment on the availability of the ore and production or selling the goods india has large resources of ilmenite in kerala we have huge deposits of ilmenite in kerala kerala and also in orissa also there are alluvial sands which contain high amount of titanium the processes for recovery of titanium require a very huge plant treatment with sulfuric acid then uh, heating it at a very high temperature there are several steps of processing means technology of starting with ilmenite and getting various product is not a simple thing it is a very complex process but canada 
China, Japan, they have concentrated on R&D of getting best possible yield and best possible quality of titanium. With the result that they are producing the largest quantity and in India we are just producing 500 metric tons. So somewhere we lack in R&D on various products. I feel that can we develop a process of getting a simple, getting a level sand, treating it on a small scale and get titanium out of it. This is just an idea. This is not possible. I know it. But when you enter into unknown, then you reach towards new heights. Remember. Although it is not feasible today, but you are the youngsters, you have to make the things feasible in future. Many of the things were proved to be insignificant, not of any value earlier. But now the same things have come into practice, but somebody has thought over it. I will narrate a very interesting incident. We had a good lecture by Setna in our college long back, about 40 years earlier. Setna has come here and he has delivered a lecture. We have one professor, Dr. K. Venkatachala. So he asked a question to Setna. There are so much water crisis. Why we cannot use seawater for production of drinking water? So everybody laughed at him at that time. I will tell you about 40 years back when somebody told this or somebody thought like that, almost everybody laughed at it and Setna also said that, okay, it's okay that you can think of making, but commercially it is not viable. But today, Abu Dhabi, Israel, all these countries are making drinking water starting with seawater. So knowledge is not just whatever you see. You should have a vision to see beyond the truth, what is possible. So one of the ideas in my mind, of course, all ideas I cannot materialize, but you are youngsters, you can think about it. If you join a titanium industry, then let us find out a simpler way of manufacturing titanium dioxide. The process is so complex, the plant is so costlier that a normal person cannot think of making titanium. Well, it is available in huge quantity. We know it from last 40 to 50 years. It is a technocrat challenge to develop a good process because there are other things also. Iron you can also get in it in the process. But process is whatever, today whatever is followed is very complex, very costly. So some simpler process should be developed. We will go more into details on titanium dioxide in our next year. Okay. I think I have engaged you for a very long time. Hmm? And once I start talking, then I have kept a watch before me that how much I should talk. Otherwise, I could talk for hours together, but I have to go through watch. It is 1 p.m. So let us have a small question answer session. You can ask some questions on the topic which we have discussed today. Sir, what about anti-fouling agent? Uh, anti-fouling paints actually, uh, the raw material is different altogether. The metals which are used as poisons for this material, nickel or uh, other uh, poisonous materials are used. Uh, uh, Anti-fouling paints are basically uh, not using any natural product. We have taken up this issue of anti-fouling paint that why natural product should not be used in anti-fouling. And we have used neem extract, then haldi extract, then CNSL is a very good component which gives anti-fouling property. CNSL means cashew nut shell liquid. 
Have you uh, visited Kokan, seen cashew production? There is a uh, cover on cashew and that contains a liquid which is known as cashew nut, cashew nutshell liquid. And this liquid has got anti-fouling properties and in Kokan belt, the people uh, who are related to the marine industry, say running boats, etc., to coat their bottom, they use that CNSL. And we, in our institute, we had tried to use CNSL for anti-fouling purpose. So we will take, we will ex, uh, engage a separate lecture on anti-fouling paint. Okay, that we will do on some next topic. Sir, teaching strength. Yes, sir. Bola. Sir, teaching strength property. Huh? Teaching strength. Awaaz, awaaz. एक मिनट में ते लाव तो होता था बच्चों के लावला शिवा आई को नहीं है तो इंटिंग स्ट्रेंथ हेलो आता आवाज हाँ बोल बरा था मतलब आवाज का नहीं है सर टिंचिंग स्ट्रेंथ टिंचिंग स्ट्रेंथ ना यस सर तो पासा है कि एक्सेप्ट व्हाइट ऑल अदर प्रेंट्स आर मिक्सचर ऑफ पिगमेंट्स इज इट नॉट यस सर इट इज वेदर ए कंपोजिट ऑफ titanium plus thalocyanin green, composite of titanium plus uh, chrome green, something like that. So when two pigments are there, then how much one occupies the other's place? That is also important. Means some intermediate colors where we are thousands of shades now in the market. And now everything has been handed over to shopkeeper. Shopkeeper is supplied with five to ten basic uh, shades, and then he intermix as per the computer calculation, and then he gets the shade. So we must know that how much powerful a pigment is uh, means relative strength. Think of suppose you are evaluated. Huh? Weight by weight. Suppose your class is there and everybody is evaluated weight by weight. Now this is one way. Weight by weight, appearance wise, weight wise, huh? and one of the comparisons may be brain wise. Huh? The two will be different. Is it not? So yes, if sir. the two are different, similarly here also, the strength of a pigment and capacity to withstand other color. That is nothing but tinting strength. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, other people will say, Purse, Khupe, Amruta. Sir, why is oil absorption power uh, calculated? Yes, what is uh, you have not understood that why we are measuring oil absorption, is it not? Hmm? Yes, sir. Huh. Oil absorption is important because basic ingredients in paint are pigment plus oil and resin. Resin is made from oil only, is it not? Now, when you formulate a paint, the basic thing is in given. 100 grams of pigment, what much oil or resin will go? The cost, the quality, there are various qualities of the binder, drying, hardness, adhesion, all these properties are related to oil binder ratio. Uh, oil and pigment ratio, sorry, binder pigment ratio is very important. What much pigment will be incorporated by the binder. This value tells you that how much better it is for a particular composition. Suppose I am making synthetic enamel, which is the costly pigment. So there what much pigment, what much alkyl resin can be accepted by pigment that is important. Because beyond certain limit, it will not take. Uh, you will conduct, if we get a chance, we can conduct this experiment in the laboratory 
that I take 100 grams of the pigment, okay, and get a commercial alkyl resin, and through drops, and by using a spatula, I try to digest it, okay. It will go on taking, but at certain stage, it will form a lump, which you can handle. That lump formation is the end of the capacity of pigment to accept so that way, this oil absorption is important. Any more? One question at least. Jit Jyoti Ghosh, is she there? Ghosh Ghosh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am ah, here. Can you can you ask some, something, sir? Uh, right now, I don't have. No, any you question. should show your presence. Yes, sir. देखो अभी news पढ़ा के तुमने थोड़ा हिंदी में बात करता हूँ मैं तुमने news पढ़ा क्या पैंतीस संसद सदस्य ऐसे थे जिनने कि पूरे इसमें एक भी बात के नहीं बोला उनका नाम आया के paper में कभी no. Huh? So you should have queries, you should have something to that is very important. In future yeah. you remember it, that you should have questions, that is very important. If you don't have a question means either you are not attentive or you are not very much interested. <laughs> that is what it indicates. So in future whenever we talk, you should have questions and all of them should ask some questions, that is very important. Because otherwise, yes, your environment is also proved. Now, I am not able to see it in the classroom. So, from here, it is difficult to control all these things. Is it not? Today, I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 people I am seeing. How many people are present? Yes, can I know? Sir, 12. Yes. How many are there? Sir, 12 people are present. Ten. Bara. Twelve. Twelve. Bara. Twelve people are present. Huh? Yes, sir. So be interactive. In sure. future, others should also ask some questions. Hmm? I am more interested in interactive teaching. Always remember. So more interaction should be there in our next lecture, which is tomorrow, which is at twelve. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Hmm? Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello. Ha, bola. Sir, a question was there. Ha. Me anti-fouling agent. एंटी फाउलिंग पेंट्स बदल बोल बोल ले तर अपन रिएक्टेंट्स में देखिए वह कंडेंसर में देखो अगर जी फाउलिंग होते हैं मंजे जे फाउलिंग कंसेप्ट होता है जैसा वाटर वगैरह ताला जोन स्टीक होता तर फाउल तब अपन पेंट यूज़ कर सकते हो तो फाउलिंग पेंट जा जैसा हम लेते नहीं नहीं तेज़ा करता � तो तेज़ा करता अपन लिक्विड डिटर्जेंट वापर स्पेशल तेज़ा मधे ऑक्सिलिक एसिड है ऑक्सिलिक एसिड साइट्रिक एसिड आणि डिटर्जेंट ये तो स्पेशल कॉम्बिनेशन बनाता है और तेज़ा पाइप्स के थ्रू पास करता है पेंट लावाई चाहे वो जी पेंट लावाई ची पद्धत नहीं है समाओ कारण एक तो क्या है लिक्विड सतत वहाँ � समझा त्या पाइप में ना ऑयल जाता है कि वह कौन सा गैस दातो है तो मत तो तो पेंट जो है तो इफेक्ट हो जाएगा ना तो मनुष्य तेज़ा करता क्या है कि तेज़ा अपन जला वोराइलिंग मंटो त्या वाले लग क्या करता है कि त्या पाइप में ना एक स्पेसिफिक ग्रेड ऑफ डिटर्जेंट्स है ते आमी मला भाई ते क्या बनाऊँ तो अप तो मुझे ये सवाल नहीं भूलना है ऐसा है
Thank you. Hmm?